Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Many of you have been asking me how to optimize your Windows XP or Vista, or maybe even Windows 7, you wanna free up memory and resources. So to make things a little bit quicker also, one thing that I always tend to do is check the configuration utility. So click on the start button, and in that run or search field here, type in MS config, one word, no spaces. It's the same thing for XP, Vista, or Windows 7. This window, the system configuration window, hasn't changed at all for either version. And most of your problems are actually in that startup tab. Okay, so if you click on the startup tab, you're gonna get a whole list of all of these things that are actually running in the background every single time you log into Windows. So what you need to do is figure out which ones you actually don't need. So stretch the top here so you can read what each of these things are. Okay, so stretch that so you can read the whole thing and figure out exactly what it is that you need and don't need. Now, in some cases you might not know, but QuickTime, you know what QuickTime is. Do you really need that starting up every single time you boot into Windows? No, you launch it whenever you need it. So remove that from there. You don't need that checking for updates either. You'll get the updates when you need those updates. Same thing for iTunes, okay? Disable the iTunes. So how do you disable these things? Just uncheck it, that's all you have to do. Just uncheck the, the uh, unwanted, unneeded items from this list, read what they are, right? It has a description, it tells you a little bit about it there, so you can try to figure it out. I don't, I'm not running this uh, optimizer for AMD anymore, I'm not running a dual core on this test system, I'm running a quad core now, so I don't need that anymore, so I uncheck it. ATI customer care for updates for my ATI graphics, I don't need that, I'll get the updates whenever I need to get it, so I'll uncheck it. So these are examples. You will have different things here, you won't have the exact same ones as I do, obviously, but, you have to go through this exercise once in a while because you're complaining, many of you, to me that it's slow getting into Windows. Well, it's probably because you got tons of these things starting up, which half of them you don't even need. So uncheck the ones that you believe you don't need. And after you've done that, then come, go to the bottom there where it says apply and then apply your changes to, um, to make it stick and restart your computer. Okay. If things don't work, you can always come back and check them off again and re-enable them. Okay. That's it. That's one suggestion that I have to quickly optimize your system, free up some resources, and even make your startup into Windows a little bit quicker. Thanks for watching.